Hello and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to create one more pattern, which looks something like this. But this time we'll create a little bit of a different pattern where you can see the background in two different colors. So let's just get started. Let's create a new file by going to file and then new. I'm just going to create a 4.5 to 4.5 inches CMYK and 300 PPI. You can keep it RGB if you're using it for screen. It's totally fine right now. So click create. First, we're going to create our element from which we're going to make the pattern. So let's just do that. Right click and click on ellipse tool. Now double click and let's make this about 1.3 inches. This is absolutely not necessary. You can keep any size that you want, but let me just keep it as 1.3 inches and click OK. And it'll create a circle. Let me just go ahead and remove the stroke. And for fill, I'll just give in black just so that I can see it. Now I'll press Command or Control C to copy and Command or Control F to paste on top. Now click hold your Option or Alt key down. Click your Shift key down and drag it in so that you can make something like this. Now go back to your Selection tool, click and select everything. Go to your Pathfinder, that is Window and then Pathfinder. And here you can just give in one of these things like this, that's minus front. So it will remove that and it will create basically a circle. We can keep this here. Now right click, go to your rectangle tool, double click and let's make this 1.7 inches and 1.7 inches and click OK. It makes a very nice rectangle. Let me put this back. Now click, hold your shift key down and rotate it once so that it is 45 degree. Go back to your selection tool. Click on your circle and press on center, horizontal and vertical center align. If you cannot see align, it's again in window and then align. And now for this one, we're just going to keep make this as horizontal align. And then we'll try and drag it so that it coincides with the center of the circle here. So if you don't see these pink lines, you can find them in view and then smart guides. So once you have all this ready, click and select everything. And let's go ahead to Pathfinder again and just click on this. And your basic shape is ready. I'm just going to keep it here. And now it's time to make one more. Right click, transform and reflect. Click on preview and I'll show you exactly how it looks. This is what we want. And it's vertical. Click copy. This looks like almost like a Chanel sign, doesn't it? But that's not what we are aiming for. So I'll just undo that. Now click and drag it down. And let's drag it up a little bit so that it goes and joins in here. Let's zoom in. Just make sure you click and drag so that they are nicely aligned. So one more trick is to view this in the outline more. So you go to view, outline. And now you can see there's a tiny gap here, or it's not a gap, I think they're overlapping. So I'll just click on this and drag it so that it sits nicely like this. Now go back to view and GPU preview and you should be good. Okay, so now next step is repeating this. Now click and select everything. Now click, hold your option key down, shift key down and drag it so that it just comes back here and then sits nicely over here. So I'm just going to scroll in and make sure everything is selected otherwise it will move weird and just adjust it so that it's nicely seated. You can go back to your outline mode and I think this should be fine. But here because we moved only one let's just make sure that it, everything is okay here. Next, we are going to make the circles. Right click, ellipse tool. Now you can find the center of this particular thing here. So click, hold your option key down, shift key down and drag to make a circle. I'm just gonna hold this and bring it in so that it looks like it's in the center. Now hold your option or alt key down, click and drag to make another copy and let's just place it here. Let's go back to the selection tool. Hold your shift key down and click so that you select both of them. Now click, hold your option or alt key, hold your shift key and then slowly drag it so that it comes and sits 
in the center. So let's give colors, the first batch of colors to this. Or let's just make this as red and this one as yellow. And now let's make this color the next color that follows. So All right, let's make more circles. So I'll just so control C to copy, control F to paste on top. And I'll click, hold my option key down, shift key down and drag it in to make a tiny circle. And let me just color this with some color so that I can see it. Now again, control C or command C to copy, control F or command F to paste on top. Click, hold option, shift and drag it in. All right, and let's make this some other color. So it's basically all the four colors which are there in the palette. Now let's click on both of this. Now hold your option key down, click and drag it so that you bring it here. And it's in the bottom. So I'll press command shift and close square bracket to bring it to top. And now the second circle is red. So let's change the color. So let's make this yellow and then the inner one as blue. Just notice that I've removed the stroke for all these colors or circles. So now click on this, the inner circle, holding your shift key. Again, this one and the inner circle holding your shift key. Hold your option key down, click shift and drag it. And it's all on top, so it's okay. And let's change the color. And this one will be blue. Inside thing will be yellow. And this one will be red. Okay, so this is ready. And now it's time to make circles over here. Okay, now I'll click on this, click and drag, holding your shift key down and option key down and I'll place it right in the center. It's exactly not in the center, so I'm just gonna click all this. Just make sure you arrange it so that it's in the center if it doesn't work out. And now for this one, let's do the same thing for the center. Only option key down, click and drag and make sure it intersects between these two. Let's do the same thing here. Okay, so our base pattern is ready. Now I'll click and select everything and press command G to group them together. This is very important because you'll be trying to move these things around when you're creating the pattern and it's always good to have it grouped so that it doesn't move around much. So go to object, pattern and make. Click OK. And now I've chosen the grid format because I felt like it looks much better. You could also choose brick by column. I guess this will look better as well. OK, let's go ahead and edit this. Click on this and now we have to bring it down so that it kind of coincides here. And if you feel there's a lot of space here, just move this a little bit as well. So let's try this. I guess that looks fine. So the best thing about this is it does not matter if you choose brick by column or grid. It's actually going to turn up looking like this. Let's just go back and check our pattern. See, it actually looks pretty much the same. So it does not really matter except that the colors might be a little off. But it's fine. Choose whatever looks best to you and you like. And I'm not going to change any of the settings here. And I'm just going to go and click on done. So our pattern is ready and you can see it in swatches. It's under window and then swatches. But now let's go ahead and make a background to it. So I'll just right click and go to my re rounded rectangle tool and I'll make a big rectangle here. Let it be yellow. We don't care about it. Let's go to line segment and let's just divide this up a little bit. Okay, so this one didn't have a stroke, so I'm just going to go to stroke and there's yellow or oh, let's choose black. Now I'm going to make one here. Oh, there's one already. So I'm just going to select that and make it black as well. Okay, now I'll go back and select my ellipse tool. I'll click and hold my shift key to make an ellipse and move it somewhere over here. I'll go to my selection tool, click and select everything and go to my pathfinder and click on divide. Now press command shift and G to ungroup everything. Now click outside. Now all these things are in tiny groups. So I'm just going to click on this one here, big chunk here and click on black. 
uh, but select your fill and click on black and now for this one I will choose something white uh, entirely white and this one as well and this one as well now again I'll go back to my rectangle tool I'll click and drag and make a rectangle as big as this one and this one we're going to go to swatches and click on our pattern we'll go back to the selection tool let's remove this and your pattern is ready so yes that's basically how you create this pattern using simple steps i hope you like this tutorial if you did please give me a thumbs up and i just want to let you know the background that we created is very simple you could also use different colors to make it look very nice and pop up like you could use something which is completely contrast with these theme of colors that we have used so that it'll look much more colorful bright and cheerful as well okay so i hope you liked this video if you did please give me a thumbs up and check out my other videos i have a lot of videos on how to create patterns with different different elements some are very simple and easy to try it out you can use this design to upload to sites like spoon flower etc so make sure you make the size depending on the type of the item you're going to print it and sign up for my newsletter if you want some freebies i send out some procreate brushes this time and they're usually printables included in them as well you'll find everything in the description box below and let me know if you have any questions relating to illustrator or photoshop or procreate and i'll be happy to answer them for you thanks for watching bye